Hello again and welcome to this seventh talk. A friend of mine who was studying pharmacy told me that the first thing they all learned were all the deadly poisons. And I think the reason for this was of course that so they knew what not to give their patients. But similarly, if we want to find out what chord a composer is using, we really have to be able to sift out all the things that don't belong to that chord. And so these are five types of deadly poison. I call them all red herrings together, which of course is not a musical term at all. It's borrowed from literary criticism. A red herring is something that has nothing to do with the plot. And, um, but again, the same thing is here. These five red herrings that I'm going to talk about now. The first of them is the appoggiatura, which is on a strong beat of the bar and resolves into the harmony. And um, the appoggiatura sounds actually wrong until it resolves. And then with hindsight, I can say, actually, that didn't really matter at all. And so the technical name for that is, as I say, that's the appoggiatura. Number two on the list is the passing note. No problem with that, but if I say, and if I stay on there for just a second, you'll tell me, well, that sounds about as wrong as wrong can be. And if I go through a passing note, it doesn't disturb us at all. So that's the second on our list. The third, that fits the harmony, that doesn't. It's like a passing note, it's on a weak beat of the bar, but goes back to the note which is in the harmony. Well, that sounds wrong, but we know what's going to come, it's that. an anticipatory note because it anticipates that note which is coming at the end. There's another type of anticipatory note which is... It doesn't anticipate the last note but it does anticipate the next harmony and therefore that's also still an anticipatory note. Okay? Then we have the last, the number five on our list is the pedal note, which is something that sounds right at the beginning, wrong, not really very good, wrong, 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 that always sounds wrong, but afterwards I can say, oh, it didn't really matter at all, because it, there's the beginning, it's there at the end, and it was right in those two positions. It doesn't disturb us. But we have to know what he is if we want to see what the rest of the chord really is about. So those are our five red herrings. Uh, please don't underestimate them. They can make it very, very difficult to recognize what chords we're in. But the answer to spotting the chord is always the easiest of any given alternatives. So look out for one, four, five relationships, and we'll probably find that that's where we're going to be. Just the one exercise here. Please play all of these little exercises just to get the hang of how these five poisonous notes work. That's all for today.